Hey folks, Jocelyn here. Today I want to show you how we do our transplanting here at the farm to maintain our regenerative and healthy soil. So to start, I want to point out that last fall, we put this garden bed to sleep by laying down some nice mulch. And this has ensured that the soil was protected all winter and also it's prevented some of the weeds from coming up this spring. Now for the weeds that have popped up, what we're going to do is we're just going to cut them at the base right by the soil. Let me repeat, we are not pulling the weeds out of the ground. We never want to disturb the soil when we don't have to. And that's because it's a very delicate ecosystem. So once we've taken all the weeds and laid them down, they're going to act as a nice little additional mulch on top of the soil. What we're going to do is we're going to put down some newspaper to prevent or at least discourage the weeds from coming back up. So a couple layers of newspaper will do the trick. And this is great because it's a zero waste technique. It adds carbon back to the soil. You want to secure the newspaper with something heavy or you can use garden pins, for example. Once that paper is down, you're going to cut out the hole for where you want to transplant your your crop so in this case we're going to transplant a pepper don't be afraid to really get some uh, elbow grease in there you do want to dig a fairly deep hole and that's because we're going to put a handful of worm manure in the bottom of the hole that's going to help ensure that that plant thrives as soon as it gets transplanted. Then we take our pepper plant, gently pull it out of its container, and then drop it into the hole. We'll fill it back in with some of that soil. And last but not least, we always like to add another layer of wood chips, which will help hold down the soil and add a carbon mulch to the garden bed. That's how you grow healthy plants, healthy people, and a healthy planet.